Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us today and welcome to a new Adobe Live session. Uh, and I have a very special guest with me today, Tyler, uh, who's gonna go through some cool shapes on Illustrator and some photo manipulation on Photoshop. First of all, I wanna say a big hello to our chat community. We already have the chat busy today. Hello, Carol, Andreas, Oliver, Sean. Uh, Richard, it's so good to see you uh, again. And uh, I, I want to remind everyone, if you are on YouTube, do switch to behance.net slash live so we can say hello to you, answer your questions, and you can even chat live uh, with my special guest here, Tyler. Um, uh, before we start, Tyler, I want to remind everyone that uh, Max is happening uh, next month. Uh, please do register if you didn't yet. It's going to be a wonderful event. Once again, free for all, uh, creativity for all. So do join us. Uh, you can even, you know, log in with your Behance profile so you can say hello to the community, chat with everyone, and just engage uh, in this beautiful uh, event. So yeah, Max is happening. Uh, join us uh, next month. And Tyler, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Happy to yeah. be here. Excited for today's session. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really excited though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, just a quick, I know that, you know, some of you might have known Tyler, but uh, just a quick introduction. Tyler is a graphic designer. Uh, we did say that you are a legend uh, backstage. So let's, design legend, let's, yeah. let's, let's stick to that. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, Tyler works in branding, illustration and design. He has worked with clients uh, in the music industry, clothing and, and you know, he's been, I, I mean, I, I personally love his work because um, you know, it's it's so colorful, it's so vibrant, and uh, as you can see here on the screen uh, that Tim is going to show us now on his um, Instagram profile, you can see that you know the all the edits that he does is is by him, and and just it's 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 incredible, and I can't wait to see what we're going to be working today uh, with Tyler. So Tyler, please take the lead. Uh, excited to hear you. Uh, yeah. So. All right. Cool. So. Cool. Today, I thought I would make one of these. Um, I'm going to start off with, I have a lot of packs of shapes that I kind of use and go back to, but I thought I'd kind of make it a bit more original today and create some shapes to use in a design. So I'm going to start off by making some shapes to use in the layout, and then I'm going to move on to the visual uh, manipulation side of it. So kind of finding some imagery and making it look cool. <laughs> Tyler, then, are these, these are purely personal projects, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just for fun. Um, that's like, that's one of the things that we always talk about in our sessions, which is, you know, like working on your personal Yeah, project. yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get a lot of people commenting like, what's this for? And, I, and I'm just like, nothing. It literally has no purpose. <laughs> I just made it because I like making things. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, like, I, I, I'm also curious to see, like, how do you balance your uh you know your personal time while working on this project and then you know your clients work project like yeah i don't really <laughs> is, it ever, is it ever at all balanced or just kind of like super improvised yeah um it's kind of or like there's no I, I don't really have a schedule as to when i make the posts for instagram it's kind of like yeah one day yeah. i'll wake up and i'll i'll make four i'll just be like i want to make some stuff today and i'll just bang out like four of them and then i'll just have them to post for a few days and then after not making something for like four days i'm like i can't be bothered and then i won't post for a few days so it's all a bit chaotic um not very organized but <laughs> it's going well so the life of a designer that's yeah good. pretty much <laughs> so yeah let's get started can't wait to see uh we're gonna start with, uh, with some shapes and... yeah i'm gonna start an illustrator and make some shapes who knows where it's going to go, who knows if they're going to be good, if they're going to be bad. Let's hope they're not bad. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I've uh, actually spent time in Illustrator, like creating some new assets to to work with on my layouts because, because I made a lot of shape packs. Um, awesome. I just don't, I've been a bit lazy and not actually, wait, let's been a bit lazy and haven't been making original shapes so this is actually uh this is beneficial to me as well because i'll have these shapes afterwards and i can use them again and again and you know i think you know you keep them in your library so they're Big all idiot. useful for even yeah yeah apps yeah 
yeah, I like to kind of batch make a load of shapes and then I've just kind of got these random abstract shapes to. It really saves a lot use. of time. Yeah, it really does. It helps when I'm trying to post so regularly on Instagram. And I often have, like to make a, ver a few variations of the same shape. Kind of like technical man management question. Do you have the shapes organized in libraries or folders? Uh, I actually <laughs> just hold them in an Illustrator file and copy and paste <laughs> them into Photoshop. Okay, okay. Um, definitely not the most organized way to be doing it. I could have them in libraries. Uh, and just drag them straight in from Photoshop and the Photoshop library tab. I might start doing that. Uh, <laughs> as I said, it's all a bit chaotic. Yeah, um, I feel like every artist has, you know, their way of working. That's the fun of it. Also, also get surprised, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it is interesting. Everyone, when I'm watching other people's streams, um, other designers, I find it very interesting how a program that, er that everyone uses the same program and yet they all use it so differently it's very interesting to watch other people's workflow and see how they have it laid out and all that stuff um these shapes are pretty random kind of want to make a slightly more oh no curved edge version of this or maybe thicker So yeah, mm. we have, we have the, the chat pretty busy today. I want to invite everyone, if you have any questions for Tyler, do shoot them for me so you can uh, ask them ask them directly. Um, Tyler, and how long, uh, like how, how did you, I'm curious to know what's your career. How did you start your career in graphic design? Is it something that you studied? Is it something that was purely out of passion? Yeah, um, well, I started, my love for design actually started back when I was about 11 playing video games. Um, I would play, I was playing Call of Duty a lot. Uh, I've told that anyone that's here that watches my streams, they've probably heard this a million times, but uh, I play Call of Duty a lot and I was always in clans, um, like like Call of Duty groups. And we'd all, you'd always like make YouTube channels and upload videos of you doing cool stuff on Call of Duty. And I, that I actually just, it really enjoyed make the part of um, just making all the YouTube backgrounds, making the logo, like doing the branding for the clan. So I ended up just making more and more new clans all the time because I just wanted to make new logos, which actually ended up costing me quite a lot of money because every time you change your name on Xbox, it's like it's like eight pounds or something. And oh, I was wow. Like, <laughs> which I look, at, look back and I think, how was that allowed? How was that allowed? Yeah, ridiculous. just to change your name. <laughs> But yeah, crazy. Well, that's so interesting, though. Wow. Um, like you were. Yeah, just and then so basically, and I uh, got Photoshop and just kind of taught myself Photoshop. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been using Photoshop since I was eleven, <laughs> just kind of self-taught. Wow. I did end up going to college, uh, which in the UK is uh, the US equivalent of high school. But yeah, I went to huh? sixth form college, and I did graphic design and photography and history. I regret taking history. Um, <laughs> history was boring. Uh, but yeah, um, that, but as far as education goes with the design, that's the only formal education I've had in design. The rest is self taught. So three years at college, but that's it. And then after that, I, uh, I started a job at a retail company as their graphic designer in the marketing team. And um, I've just recently gone part time there and I'm spending more time on my freelance stuff. Amazing. Yeah, that's a short yeah. version. Right, go on. You know, self-taught is something like, I truly admire because uh, you know you're not just sitting there. You just like you want you have this eager eagerness to learn, right? So I think this is incredible. So sorry, back to the shapes. Uh, I'm seeing here that uh, you create. Well, we, we went to the shape um, tool. Blend tool is Blend tool. very useful for this kind of stuff. I discovered this. Pattern like a few months ago. I'm a bit of a noob in a, um, Illustrator. I don't, I, We're all learning here. Yeah, like I don't really know the most of it. I can make sh random shapes that mean nothing. But if you ask me to like make a cool looking character, I would probably struggle. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. 
right actually leave that one for now i'm making a lot of different versions of this this specific shape but who cares right i want to do use the rotate tool um let's make a random square it really is completely random like i have no I, every single thing that i make it, there's no unless it's like client work obviously that i get given a brief but my personal work there is no objective i don't know what i'm gonna make i have no idea i just figure it out and they go that looks all right i hate that oh that's good oh that's rubbish and then eventually it turns out to be something that i kind of like I feel like it's more fun, right? Like not. It is. It's out. just all experimentation. It's very, very fun. Yeah, and I, I feel like maybe you would, um, you would suffer less, right, with the final results, because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what this ends up looking like. Oh, no. Um. So, I'm making use of the. I don't. I. I did a tutorial on this on my Instagram using the, the rotate tool to duplicate it around, like from round a point. Um, I got told there was better ways of doing this, but this is the way I like to do it. So, <laughs> what am I doing here? That's what I want to we do. have a we have a question from Sandrine. Um, okay. She mentions that you're from Lewis. I, I'm from, I'm uh, spelling it right. Uh, did the talent inspire you to design, like, uh, and from sorry, design wise, did it inspire you uh, at all? Um, because you know, there's a lot lots of typography in the town, apparently. Yes, uh, I would say it has a bit. I, to be fair, to be completely honest, I haven't lived in Lewis my whole life, so this is a fairly recent change that I'm living in Lewis now, but yes, okay. I do find it. It's a yeah, it's, it is a creatively inspiring place for sure. Um, Definitely more inspiring than when I was living where I was living before. Yeah, good caps, Sandrine. She's she's got a good research going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know my address or something? <laughs> it was something we were talking about backstage. Right? <laughs> Sharing all my information. Why isn't this? Why isn't this working? Thirty. Copy. There we go. That's my lunch. Okay, that's a shape that took a while. Wow. I'm gonna convert this. That's a bit much actually. I might get another one and try something else with it. I do like this rotate technique. Just um, you just get the shape, press R, uh, hold Alt, and then wherever you click is the point that it will rotate. So if I click here, it rotate, and then it brings up this window, and you choose the angle that you want it to rotate. So I'm going to do 60 for this one. And if you click Copy, and then you just do Control or Command D, then it just duplicates the previous action. So it's quite an easy way to make symmetrical shapes. I really like that shape actually. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Weird. There's a flowers. Yeah, yeah. Flowery star. Or... This is the kind of stuff I find fun in Illustrator. Like I've just made this one shape, and I'm now just making a load of really different looking shapes out of one random shape that looks pretty rubbish by itself, <laughs> just by changing the rotation point. Oh, control. Yeah. I could do these ones all day. This rotate stuff. <laughs> Uh, so easy to do. You just make a random shape and then rotate it. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's cool. I really tried that. Why have I just pasted my Instagram URL? How did I even do that? <laughs> I love this. Cheeky <laughs> shout out accidentally. <laughs> How are we doing on time? I want to make sure that I've got enough time to do the rest. Um, we are good to go. We are, we have, we have time. Okay. We've got time. Cool. cool, cool. Around 45 minutes. All good. Spend no my pressure. whole time in Illustrator. Do you want to get to the actual main bulk of the design? Right. Let's flip that round. 
So yeah, I have. I, I also had that question actually. Tim is asking if you always work with like one solid color as uh, like in terms of shapes. Did you ever experiment with other colors or? Mm. Yeah, to be fair, that's a good point actually. Recently, I've been like the layout that I create over the top seems to always end up in one color, but that hasn't always been the case. No, maybe I'll maybe I'll do something like that today. Oh, that's maybe awesome. I'll uh, try different colors. Yeah, I do get. I have noticed with my. Uh, my stuff i do get stuck in my ways a little bit and then i end up getting bored of what i'm making because i'm just kind of i feel like i've made it before um which is some some people like that that they, they it's like i guess that's what you call their style but i don't know i just i seem to get bored quite easily um so i try and switch it up quite often if you go through if you scroll through my instagram it's like my style like dramatically changes from from month yeah, to month. Like, yeah, I feel like you get so much inspiration, uh, you know, from video games, right? And yeah, yeah. Well, I just see things. I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> I'm just like, that's cool. I want to make something like that, and and like what? But like, it's not in my style. But then I'm like, well, that doesn't mean I'm not allowed. I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> exactly. So you do have some shout outs here from Jack. McCard McCard McCardo, Hi, Jack. sorry. Hi, Jack. I know Jack. Jack. Uh we have Finn, Finn Clayson. Oh, we got Finn. Hi Finn, how's it going? Thank you for joining us, guys. Couple of friends. So good to have familiar uh, names. Oh. This shape's getting a bit out of hand. Okay, that top part can go because I don't like it. Right. Circle. I like the challenge of trying to create stuff that looks interesting just using basic shapes. Um, try and make something that Wait, doesn't look basic have... out of basic, basically. So, so basically. basically, when you start working on an artwork, do you always start like with the shapes and then the overall like do you have the composition in your head already or it's just again i literally randomness? have comp no idea what i'm about to make i find that the most fun um i mean i i would say i would say i have i have some kind of rules that i apply in my head when i'm creating stuff like the way i want things to be aligned i want it to look like everything every single element is meant to be there because I find that quite a lot of designs where they're very um, element heavy in terms of they've got a lot of random shapes, it's like they can quite often just look a bit cluttered, but I try and make sure that that everything looks like it's meant to be there and it's, and, and it's very balanced. It's not just a, it's just not just a page full of shapes. It's not just like this, for example. It's like everything is aligned, has a purpose. I've always liked the... Um, I guess one of my inspirations, you were saying about video games, you know, like uh, like video game interfaces and stuff i guess that yeah. what uh, you could say my work kind of quite often looks like kind of in, an interface that is meant to serve a purpose is my can you hear my dogs barking yeah that's company that's all good i can mute my mic <laughs> no it's, <laughs> I, told, it's I told them i was streaming but they don't seem to care the more the merrier <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this shape. Uh, but yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I hear you, you know, what like the interfaces and stuff, especially, you know, like since, you know, uh, being a video gamer since you were 11, right? Like you can see like how these changes happen, right? Yeah. Like, and these movements, um, which is amazing. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting annoyed by my dog. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely a huge inspiration. <laughs> 100%. What's your dog's name? Frank. Frank. It's a little sausage dog. Yeah. Frank so Furter. Jack, Jack is requesting Frank on the stream. Angus is, Angus is saying shout out for the dogs. We're all good. So well, we're I'm, all good. I, I'm glad that people in, are enjoying the dog barking. Uh, it's bothering I'm me. Sure, I'm sure Tim has some awesome music happening in the background. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, that's a good point. He's. <laughs> It's probably syncing with the music as well. Amazing. There's so, too many dogs. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. 
I might have to go and get him to shut up. He's not stopping. So after you work on the shapes, uh, Tyler, we are yes. gonna we're gonna move to Photoshop. As you mentioned, Photoshop, uh, no photo manipulation on Photoshop. Yes. Um. So do you work on again? Do you work on that separately as well? Yeah, or I'll kind of work on that and then bring the shapes in. Yeah, on top of it. Can you give me one minute to go and get my dog? Because if I bring him in here, yeah, he'll stop good. barking. Because he's not stopping. Give me one second. All good. All good. Just gonna hang out with my chat buddies over here. <laughs> Some wild dubstep. I don't know. I I can't I can't hear the music for a while. I don't know if, if some dubstep is playing uh, around, but but yeah, this is like I think this is gonna be my my one minute of fame, right? On the <laughs> on the on the stream. So yeah, uh, while we wait for Tyler to come back, uh, just want to remind everyone that we're gonna be live again next week, of course, every day at uh, 12 p.m. UK time. Uh, we have a fantastic session uh, by Veronica Rafa on Monday. Uh, she's going to be talking about how to apply for graphic design roles and how to nail your job interview questions. So get ready for this one. Really excited for it. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have the second part of the book club uh, with Tony Harmer, of course. And this one is going to talk about historic eras. So some spooky actions happening. I, I, I heard there's going to be some vampires. I don't know if, if that's true, but... But can't wait for that. And then, uh, then you know, Friday is going to be day off for everyone. So you can enjoy your Fridays. But then we'll be back again, obviously, the upcoming week. Tyler, back, back at yes, it. Yes, I'm back. Week. Apologies. It's very embarrassing. Yeah, apologies. I, I got nervous. I said Tuesday. But, of course, we're live on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Apologies, everyone. Not Tuesday. <laughs> Good week ahead, Jackie, of course. Amazing. Wait a minute. All right. Let's go into Photoshop. <clears throat> I got some photos preemptively. I'll come back to those shapes. So I want to actually, to start off with, I want to create some sort of weird looking gradient to overlay over an image. So let's get the brush. Uh, I'm going to choose gradient map first, which is a random way of doing it, but I'll find it works. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I usually use a document size of 3000 by 3000 if that's of interest to anyone. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, okay, actually, that could be bigger. I'll warp it a bit. Do you also animate your work, Tyler? We're seeing here a timeline Photoshop. Have, well, I know that you worked on Young Shark. Um, yes, I do from time to time. I wouldn't call myself an animator by any means, but I do dabble in animation. I um, That is something I uh, actually want to get better at because I think it's it's really fun and it just adds, it adds an extra element to your work. Adding some motion to it. Too. Yeah, yeah. Let's um actually gonna just hide that quickly. I'm gonna use the liquify tool because it's a bit of a, a bit of a cheat code to making things look cool. Even if you're trying to make something abstract. Oh, that's too much. Using the the old the good old liquify. It's just so useful. It just works. It's been there since the beginning. I've always used it in my in my design. <laughs> Oh, cool, actually. Bring that. So, in terms of motion, Tyler, uh, your like your first experimentation was with, with Photoshop. Have you tried other Adobe apps? Yeah, I use After Effects a little bit. I've been uh, trying to get involved and use a little bit of After Effects, um, but quite recently, actually, I've been doing that. Um, I've used I've used a bit of Premiere, but I wouldn't. I would, I, that, that's not really motion, is it? that's more kind of video footage editing, but yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm an expert in either, but I am, um, 
I could do more than someone that's never used it before. <laughs> Just about. Let's put it that way. I'm going to try and make this look crazy. Uh, I overlay that. Change the blend mode. Does anyone know what these blend modes do? Because I, I just scroll through them randomly and then end up with one that I like. It's kind of yeah, the fun of it. That the, they help with my experimentation a lot. Blend modes. Yeah, exactly. It's just like it's a, it's a way to mask things as well and just play around like the yeah yeah. Like it's over image. I'm gonna play with this gradient map. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's this is all the, quite extreme. All the dubstep happening in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Okay. Leave that like that because I like that. Now I'm going to try bringing an image into this. See how, play with some blend modes, see how this works out. Oh, yikes, that's a lot. Maybe I'll put it below. Mm, maybe I'll put it all the way. No, on top. This is looking really cool. <laughs> Do you know what I mean about completely random? And I have no idea. I had no idea this is what this was going to look like. Oh, the uh, orange one. The orange one was looking good. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Oh, I like that actually. Nice. Tell you what, if I. That's pretty vibrant. I quite like the purpley, pinky colors. I do like this multicolored part though. I want to keep that somehow. But when I use the blend mode on this, it... maybe I'll just um, rasterize this and erase some of it. Get the color parts coming through. Uh, 600. Is that going to be? Yeah, that's that works. This is pure experimentation. I love this. Like, you haven't it... heard this. Before. No, no. I mean, I what I, do you want to see? I've got written down one shapes, <laughs> two gradient slash photo manipulation, three layout. That's it. And I just I found a it. random photo on the internet beforehand. It's It's amazing. I love this. It's the most fun. It's, uh, yeah, I, I just, I like not know it. Cause, cause then I don't know when I, when I make my work, cause when I see other people's work, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't think of that. And yeah. I like, I always feel like that about my work sometimes. Cause I'm not thinking about it. I just do something and go, oh yeah, I like that. It's not, I haven't got a plan. And so by the end of it, um, the end product is something I didn't even know was going to exist. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's cool. And then it's good as Angus is saying. And Sandrine has like a very quick tip. I'm not sure if you used it before, but you could create an artwork layer and dissolve mode. Uh, a, a what layer, sorry? So you could create um, an artwork layer, uh, a new artwork layer uh, and dissolve mode, um, possibly with a smart layer. And then you can use the wrap tool and then you can check out the effects. Just a quick tip from Sandrine here. I mean, that sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do that? Sandrine, you should join the stream one day. Yeah, you should be streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do what you just said. Oh, um, good. Oh, good. Now, now I look like I don't even know what I'm doing, which I don't. You should cover that in another stream. That should be fun. Right. Heather, actually, I just want to, I also want to take the chance because I know this is currently taking place. I know that you currently uh, are partnering with Adobe for a uh, on the Young Thug. Thug yes. Um, I um, will open. I would like to invite the community to also get involved. Um, so can we just brief introduction on this one and how can we have the community get uh, involved in the in the challenge? So basically, it's a competition. Um, Adobe partnering with Young Thug to and basically they're just asking all designers to submit their entries for a print. Um, a print that will go on his on a jacket, I believe, that he is creating. Um, 
and the theme is punk. That's the name of his new album, Punk. Uh, so anyone use your favorite Adobe apps to design a print with the theme of punk and what punk means to you. Basically, that's what that's Ooh. what that's what I've done. Yeah, everyone check out uh, Tyler's Instagram for more information. Um, I think it's my last here? couple of posts before this one. Uh, right. Let me squash that a bit. I might actually change the background color because I'm slightly losing these corners. Yeah, that's better. Right. Let's now get... we're uh, just reminder, Tyler. How how are you adding the shapes to to Photoshop? Oh. <laughs> Probably not in the best way. Probably not in the best practice way. I should really be using libraries. Um, but what I'm doing is going into Illustrator, pressing Control C, and then going to Photoshop and pressing Control V. The reason I like doing it that way is because you get the paste option to paste it as a shape layer. Yeah. And it just means that to change the color, I can just double click on it as opposed to having to add a color overlay to a, a vector a smart object, which is just, I, I've just found that to be, um, just saves me time basically. Yeah. And also, I think it's probably less on the performance uh, for uh, like my computer because it's not having to render the shape and then also a color overlay over that shape, which should be more, which I just thought of now. So that's genius. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, um, more shapes. Shapes, shapes, shapes. Actually, I want to get some typography in there as well. Hmm. I was thinking the same, that was really, that's pretty fun. I want, what's a word? <laughs> this is another thing I do. Uh, I just go to the thesaurus. So, okay. <laughs> and I just type in a word and then try and find a word that I think looks cool that's so cool and then people are always like what does this design mean i'm like nothing i just thought the word looked and sounded cool okay one i feel i feel bad though. i feel like i'm discrediting art by saying this but it's like my sole objective is just to make something that i think that looks cool and it's quite <laughs> often not a deeper meaning <laughs> i just like what it looks like it's so interesting you just revealed you know something that we would never have found out from your work that's great so which word uh, are you working with? So sorry, what did you say? Sorry, no. Like which word are we gonna end up working with? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think. Should we get something from the chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Then I don't have to do the thinking. That's chat, come crazy. on. Okay, guys. Uh, Give me a word that's good, please. It's a cool word for today. To feel free to, free to use the thesaurus. If you <laughs> give me a word, I might use the thesaurus and see if there's a cooler version. <laughs> I spend so much time on thesaurus.com. Lovely. <laughs> That's not a sponsored message, by the way. No. <laughs> Just, Just personal. Um, void. We have void. We have. That's a good start. German word. Flug, flugle, flugle horn. Um. <laughs> don't know. A dream. How to type that? Flamox. Flamox. Flumox. I like void. It is sounding good. Maybe because it's easier to say, but. Um, what about voided dreams? One more round of cool words, and then we can select the final one. Let's see. Let us know, guys, which which word should we use in today's artwork? Maybe Sean, what's good? Con consternation. Vortex, wormhole. Um, some random. I word. like void and dreams. They're my favorites. Let's go for that. So I've written voided dreams. Oh, the dreams love that thank you everyone sounds deep <laughs> they'll never know it's not phantasmagoria that's, that's a cool word thank you oliver right. now i need to find a font i could just use a font that you can't even read it needs to read the words anyway yeah they're just there to look cool <laughs> All right, this is this is the most interesting part of the stream so far. Watch me scroll through fonts. <laughs> We've been there. No worries. This is big entertainment. <laughs> the beauty Doesn't of get having, better than this. The beauty of having Adobe fonts integrated into, into platforms, right? Pardon? No, like the beauty of having Adobe oh. fonts 
it's grated. It's, I mean, I, I absolutely know. love Adobe fonts. Back in the day, you would need to search for one and just go crazy, even crazier. But uh, yeah, kind of, kind of makes the decision slightly easy. Whoa. Nobody. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. This font's crazy. I love that. Like. It's pretty psychedelic. It's like capital and lowercase letters in one. I'm going to use this. I quite often like to add a stroke to any font I'm using to kind of get rid of the sharp edges. Because I find that it kind of helps with the printed look at the end. Um, just looks less harsh. The curved okay. edges. What was the name of the font? The name of this font, uh, it's called Fusion. Ooh, uh, I have no idea where I got it from. I think I've had it on my computer for ages. That's a bit close to the edge for my liking. Um, maybe, maybe this needs to go onto two lines. I'm having second thoughts about the font. <laughs> That, this one instead. I like this one. I Literally can't fun. read it. But but that's fine. I think it's pretty cool. It fits the style a bit more, I think. It's a bit okay. more futuristic. Totally, yeah, like robotic. Yeah, uh, it fits with these shapes, I think, a little bit more. Um, I think I'm just going to make it a bit smaller, actually, and get it in line with it. Oh, no, not that. I'll make it a shape so I can sort the styling out. The I in this font is just an upside down T. So that makes sense. Like the S. The S is pretty weird. Oh, the S is cool. <laughs> I like that. Just basically an O. I was just going to say that. Like you can read it as an O. It's just an O. <laughs> All right. More shapes. Uh, actually, first, get some rectangles involved because. Because rectangles, right? Because rectangles, exactly. <laughs> would love always to useful. The, the shape you create with the circles, that would be fun. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put that in there, for sure. Uh, it's just... So, we have a question from the chat. Um, do you ever create your own typography? Do you tweak existing typefaces or do you create... Uh, scratch or that's not something you, you i have done that in the past i can't say i've kind of made my own typography but i've definitely um, um definitely spent time kind of editing fonts to kind of make them look a bit more custom yeah i have done that in the past there's a few on my instagram i think further back um that again typography is another thing that i'd really really like to learn a bit more of and get into but yeah it's so, like it's a big learning curve. Get like do it great creating good typography, I think. Yeah. It's hard. But I can imagine very satisfying creating a whole font. I can imagine feels good. Right. If I add a stroke to these, they're gonna look stupid. <laughs> yes. Yes is the answer. Maybe just oh, no. I like that. Just that, that's cool. I'm gonna get rid of the fill on this actually. Maybe reduce the stroke slightly. Has that worked? So that's better. Okay, cool. Let's get uh let's get some more shapes. This one. I want to use this one for sure. That's not the shape that I want to use. Oh, I might need to. I'm just going to duplicate this and expand it. For the moment, it's just a stroke, isn't it? And then merge it. Nope. Oh, I need to expand it again. <clears throat> then I can merge it. Cool. Now it's a shape. Nice. Okay. Oh, looking good. This, this shape works with this. I might actually copy this over here as well and get something going on in the center of this. Uh, how am I going to find the center of that? Because it's not. I'm going to quickly 
make a rectangle that goes across there so that I can. Where's the shape? <laughs> there, that one, I think. So if I vertically, oh. This is just me um, being a perfectionist. <laughs> I need this shape to be exactly in the middle of this section of the design. Otherwise, the design's rubbish. <laughs> Integrate the, the photo. Cool. I want to cover up this middle bit, though, because it looks a bit messy. Yeah. It's just a bit messy. It <laughs> doesn't look great. Uh, I, yeah, that's cool. I might actually, hmm, I might give this a stroke four and then make this a hollow shape. Uh, what's the easiest way of doing that? If I duplicate all of this and then go to a small object, possibly, I don't know if that's going to mess about with stuff. Uh oh, loading. Tyler, I also see that you know you work with uh, with you know photos. I don't know if, if you take them or do. You, uh... Uh, I did take photography at, at A level, but I can't say I, I'm a photographer. No, I um I tend to find imagery online. Yeah. Um, mainly because I just don't really have the time to go and take. The kind of photos that I use, they're like, I'd have to go somewhere really cool. To, and I just, I don't really have the time with my work to go to cool places and take photos. And also the photography part of it isn't really the part that I'm super interested in. It's the, it's the editing it all together to make it look nothing like the original photograph. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and there's stock, like great stock imagery all over the internet these days. Um, so I just use that. Right, this layout needs to uh, get a bit more, a bit more going on. I'm gonna add one of these. This is a bit, a bit spiky, but I guess it kind of works with the whole void theme. Maybe we'll see. I might put it in a circle. I think at full size, it's a little bit. It's a little bit much. As you can see, my uh, document is very organized and I know exactly where everything is. <laughs> no. It's so fun when you try and animate one of these after that. You're like, I want to animate that. Which one is it? <laughs> Always name your layers. Yeah. To be fair, if I plan on animating something, I do, actually. I've got, a bit, I've got better. You have to, otherwise you'll lose your mind. <laughs> You literally have to, right? I think this is going to be a bit nicer. Seems to reduce the size of that to about there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay, then. This works. Let me get a couple more little circles up here. I love this. This could easily be, I don't know, like a, a single cover or like an album cover. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I get quite a few uh, clients um, in the kind of electronic music industry. It seems this theme is very in line with that sort of style. Amazing. And, you know, that's how you get client work, right? Like, do you, yeah, you want yeah. your favorite? Uh, projects and you just you know it's a deal from there let's get that down there cool that filled there that feels this that's what i'm talking about balance yeah. that felt empty to me and now just putting a circle in that space just in the middle it just it feels like oh actually having said that i've just realized i think it might need to be in line one sec. <laughs> Gotta get it in line with the circle and both. Yeah, that's better. There we go. 
this is what I mean about the, I was saying I have kind of rules for myself where everything needs to look like it's in the right place. It needs to be in line with one another or organized almost. Okay, I think I prefer that, but I actually think I don't. So, <laughs> wrong. Redo. Yeah, there we go. Save that for now, just so we don't lose it. I'm going to put something in there. <laughs> like I'm just randomly swapping between things that I'm doing. There's no real I'll order. Like, the not fit. I, I just, I, every time I finish something, I just scroll out, look at it, and decide yeah. where I'm next going to zoom in and start figuring out. There's well, no, I think we're pretty, like, I'll finish this, then I'll do this. Pretty, we're doing pretty good. You know, we have 15 minutes left. Just going to need to Wait. fill in some, some of the voids. Need to fill in, yeah. Uh, let's get this. This is quite a sharp shape, but I think I think it'll work well. I'm actually gonna try and make good use of some negative space here. I think I'm gonna get a, re a large rounded rectangle here, so I kind of match the circle above it. Um, there we go. I'm gonna leave some space at the bottom for an extra little rectangle because. Why not? Literally, why no. not? Uh, let's get rid of that. What is the most uh, like challenging thing you know, in your career? Something that's anything that you can share with us today uh, in terms of like, I don't know, something that you had to face recently uh, with the client work or any, any experience that you learned from would be highly appreciated, I guess. Um, in terms of challenges, I'd actually say that I've uh, been doing this client job at the moment. Um, funnily enough, I find creating icons very challenging. Yeah. Even though I spend time making shapes in Illustrator, but when when I've got to make shapes that actually have a purpose and aren't just completely random, just experimentation, I actually am not that good at it. <laughs> I'm not very good at like creating a set of icons that each need to mean something um yeah it's quite funny because i was like oh i make i make shapes in illustrator all the time and like what i've been doing i'll be fine and i'm actually like oh boy. but it's got to like mean something it can't just be a random set of shapes that i've just put together for no reason so that's been kind of challenging um another thing is, in a more general terms of being a designer and the whole kind of a lot of people recently think they should have a style i'm kind of having this i have this constant internal battle whether i need to have a style or whether i should just make whatever i like at the time and and yeah and also on top of the fact that i was saying i get bored quite easily it's like i think it's actually impossible for me to have a specific style because i can't make the same kind of stuff forever <laughs> Exactly. So, always, you're always developing. And, yeah, you know. yeah. I admire designers and artists that do have their niche style that is recognizable as theirs. Um, I just don't think I can do it myself. I don't think I can. I just get, I just get bored. I feel like I'm end up creating the same thing over and over again. So that's something that I think probably a lot of um, a lot of designers struggle with or like design, design i want to say like maybe like instagram designer slash artists that are kind of doing personal art slash design work quite often are like how how do you find your style and i don't think you have to i don't think that should be your objective ever really i think you should just make what you like and maybe you'll find a style maybe you won't but either way you're learning new skills and developing as an artist so doesn't matter like it's not important if you have a style or not as long as you're making stuff that you like that you think is good that is an improvement on your past work that's yeah, one of the that's a big thing definitely like it's yeah some you know i i believe like even especially you know young young creators it, it, it must be you know frustrating you know to you know to follow the trends or like what yeah the creatives are doing but yeah that's a really valuable tip you know for everyone like you just do what you like and there's no specific style and your style can change anyway um, yeah, and it probably will like it, the majority of designers their style isn't going to stay the same <laughs> exactly. you're gonna do try new things that's the whole fun of it really you, 
what's the point in just learning learning one thing and then just doing that forever he says making his 500,000th layout design using shapes <laughs> love this it's like a time uh, time thing yeah, it looks <laughs> oh yeah it looks like um oh, an egg timer <laughs> yeah something like that yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this now. Uh, I want to add some words. So, dreams. Illusion, there you go. That's a word. It's a word that sounds cool. Let's get my favorite font to use. Good font. What's your favorite font? At the moment, I think this. I think a cumin is very, it's quite boring, but a cumin pro wide is currently my favorite font. I seem to use it in uh, in terms of um, sans fonts. It's kind of my go to. Definitely. Oh, that's a lot. How are we doing on time? <laughs> uh, we have 10 minutes left. That's all good. That's fine. Let's get a couple of uh, circles. Actually, Pretty sure I uh, could just duplicate this. Yeah, bring these down. I'm just going to make these slightly smaller. There we go. Yeah. I think I'm going to put a line between these two just to finish that path. Oh, I could just get one of these rectangles maybe i don't know where that is on the page but i reckon if i just drag downwards it'll appear oh. yeah. yeah nice wait where's that from have i just taken it or did i duplicate it okay cool <laughs> right oh, okay tell you what as we're short on time, I'll go. I'll move on to the kind of adding a bit of uh, a printed look to it. How it kind yeah, of looks yeah. a bit more like a physical, physical uh, print as opposed to kind of because at the moment everything's very it's clearly a digital design. Do you know what I mean? Um, so what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to figure out what's what quickly. So I think all of this uh, is that okay. Those two can that can stay there. But that's separate. I'll bring those down, but like that. Okay. Now I think all of this is all the elements on the side. Yes, it is. Cool. So I'm going to duplicate it because I kind of like to just keep a version. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll duplicate it. It's fine. My computer won't die. It'll be all right. Three groups on there's yeah, I've duplicated it. so I've kind of I've kept all the layers because like I don't know, I, I like to be safe and make sure I can go back and edit it, even though I know I could edit it within the smart object. I don't know, I just do it anyway. Um I'm gonna go filter distort displace. Uh probably not that much, maybe like maybe only like three or something. I'm gonna get a little displacement layer to give it a little bit of a rough look. I think that's fine. Is the text still, yeah, that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is add an outer glow. I've recently started doing this outer glow thing because I've realized it, it looks like a kind of ink bleed when you do it black on white. As opposed to a glow, it kind of just looks like mm -hmm. a printed ink blade, which is nice. Uh, you have to kind of get it right in terms of sizing. That's too much. It's really subtle. You might not even see it on the stream. <laughs> um, love it. Yeah, we can see the details. It's amazing. Hopefully. Uh, oh, 16. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, cool. I'm going to actually... I think I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna just leave that like that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same with this part over here because it needs to 
It makes, yeah, put some. It needs, to, it needs to have the same displacement and, and I guess I'll give it a white glow because that'll look cool actually. Well, Tim is saying, who needs a drop shadow if you can have a dark glow? <laughs> exactly. Drop shadows are a thing of the past. Uh, so the glow it's interestingly I've used absolute white on this one which I um, don't usually do and I might actually change I like to not use pure white because I find that again like it, it having it slightly light, a lot more of a light grey just helps it look a bit more like a printed design um, all right it's the easiest way for me to do this. I could just add a color overlay. Pull that from there and then get the outer glow. Pull that from there. That's a bit better. Okay. Overall image. Wow. It's pretty cool. Well, it could, to yeah. be fair, it could use a bit more here. I feel like it's a little bit, a little bit spacious here. I would probably add something more, but time. <laughs> Yeah. And I want to get the texture on it. So I'm going to gonna get maybe, I want one that's going to give it a slight, for the horizontal. Less detail. I think that'll look quite nice. Bring it up here. And then screen or color dodge? That's the question. Because screen makes it properly glow up in the corner. I mean, color dodge does, my bad. Lighten's quite cool, though. Right, I'm going to do screen and reduce the opacity by quite a bit. Oh, that's loud. And then I think I might actually duplicate it and do one with color dodge as well underneath. Because it just gives it that lightness. Although, with the color dodge, you lose all of the no, we're not going to use the color dodge because I want it to have that printed bleed. Lovely. Okay. It's yeah. Great. Let's uh, just play the game called Hue and Saturation Change just for oh, fun. Wow, we should animate that. Though. I know. I, every time I do this, I'm like, damn, I should just animate that because it looks cool. Do that. But Lovely. great. So the best. we we'll made that. it. We made it on time. We got an amazing made it. artwork. Boy, the dream. We close this tab. I want to thank everyone who joined us today. It's been such an amazing, busy chat. You know, I, I love to see, you know, everyone engaging with it, between each other and with us. So thank you all for joining. Uh, you can keep the conversation going on Discord. So do join us on our Discord channel uh, that's going to appear uh, in the chat very soon and on the screen. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Tyler. It's been absolutely amazing having you here um uh any any last words you want to share um not really <laughs> just thanks for having me um it's been really good fun and uh good. follow me on instagram if you don't <laughs> yeah. thank you all <laughs> self-promotion remember we are live uh monday wednesday friday at 12 p.m uk time uh and yeah see you everyone have a great weekend and yeah thank you tyler again bye well thanks very much bye
little secret. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Don't plan it, don't wait for it, just let it happen. It could be a new shirt in a men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good hot black coffee. Like this, a present. Like Christmas. Oh, man, that is the spot. Nothing like a great cup of black coffee. coffee, coffee. Thank you.